and welcome to my channel. So I'm back with monthly favourites and I know it's a little bit late but here are my all my beauty and fashion and everything else favourites for the month of May. actually whizzed by. London has been beautiful, the sun has come back, we've had almost like a mini summer in London this May which is quite unusual given it's always kind of freezing cold. So we've had some very beautiful super sunny days but then we've also had kind of the freezing cold comeback unexpectedly so it's been a bit of a mixed month weather wise but it's been a beautiful month and it's kind of whizzed by, it's gone by so so quickly and I can't believe we're already in June, it's almost a time of summer and I am super excited going away on holiday soon so lots to look forward to. But I'm not going to ramble on anymore and let's get started with monthly favourites. So my first monthly favourite for this month and something that I could not not have mentioned is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I had heard so much about this cream and so many people had raved about it I thought you know it must be great, but maybe not that great. It is quite pricey, um, and I didn't know if it would be worth the investment. Like with many products that so many people rave about, you kind of see them and everybody, and you hear everybody talk about them, and then you kind of try it on and you think, yeah, whatever, it was okay, but it wasn't that amazing. But actually, this cream was definitely worth all the hype it got. I gave in to finally buying it, um, I thought I should try it out and it is absolutely amazing and I don't regret buying it at all. If you haven't seen my video where I did a haul where I mentioned this cream and I spoke about my first impressions, I will link it down below so that you can have a look at that and that was the first time I tried it. But it's a wonderful cream, the texture is almost a little bit like the Nivea cream texture. Even the smell is a little bit like that, but it is a lot less greasy than that. It kind of blends into the skin super easily. It doesn't leave an oily film behind, but at the same time, it's super nourishing, super moisturizing. It really is a great, great base for makeup. Your makeup just glides on perfectly. It does give that luminosity and brightness to your face as well, and I love the fact that it's got SPF 15 as well, because if you're wearing a foundation with no SPF, I know for the summer you should use more, but at least this has got some Thing and it is beautiful. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous, looks beautiful on your kind of dressing table. It's got this gold, rose gold top and then it's all glass. It looks a little bit vintage almost, um, but I really, really love this one and I have been reaching out for it almost every day. So my next beauty favourite is a eyeliner pencil. This one is from NARS and it is in the colour black and it is the Larger Than Life Long Wear Eyeliner. It is absolutely beautiful. I don't usually like twist up pencils and this one is, but I thought I would give it a go because I usually use the Estee Lauder Double Wear and they'd run out of it in the airport when I went to buy it. Um, and I bought this one instead and it comes on almost like a gel texture. I'm not sure if you can see it there, but it comes on like a gel texture almost, but if you leave it to set for a couple of seconds, maybe like 10 seconds, it just won't budge. So it is absolutely amazing and super long lasting on the lids, it doesn't smudge, it doesn't kind of transfer onto your crease, it is really really good and it's got quite a thin nib so that means that it kind of goes on very very smoothly um, and if you don't let it set um, you can really smudge it out and blend it out and make it more of kind of a smoky look but if you let it set, see I've let this one set for a, for a couple of minutes and it just will not budge. This won't smudge, it won't go away, it is absolutely amazing so I really really like this one and I've been reaching out for it a lot. Another favourite for this month has been the Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Drama. So this mascara has been a bit of a hit and miss. I don't know, when I first bought it I loved it. Then I went through a phase where I thought mm, not for me, it leaves my lashes looking too clumpy and I don't really like it even though it is great at volumising them, it's just too too clumpy and I can't work with it. And now I'm loving it again, so I don't know what the deal is with this mascara, we'll have to report back when it finishes completely, but for the moment I've been loving it and this month it's the only mascara I've been using it. It is super super black, it wreaths your lashes with loads of volume, I apply three coats on the top lashes and it just leaves them looking like you were wearing false lashes, so I absolutely love that about it. 
The brush is quite thin, so I really like that um, because it means you can get into the lashes into the corner and also great for bottom lashes. And if you like super separated lashes, then this might not be one for you because it does leave them with slight clumps, especially at the kind of root of the lash. But it is super volumizing, so if you want a very, very volumizing mascara, something really dramatic, then you might want to try this one out. Another favorite this month has been this Revlon polish. It's the Colorstay Gel Envy in the shade... Um, in some shade. It's a kind of very pinkish, whitish shade, um, and I just cannot find the name. If I find the name, I will link it down below in the information box below because I can't see it just now. But it's a very creamy, pinky shade. It is kind of thickish in texture, so it can apply a little bit streaky, but with three coats, it looks absolutely perfect. I really like it, a great pastel color. It really stands out against a little bit of tanned skin. And it is quite long lasting. It claims that you do not need to use a base because it's a base and a polish together. I do use a base underneath. But it is really nice, super covering, and quite pigmented, so I'm really, really loving this one. Another favourite this month for lips has been the Sephora um, kind of liquid lipstick that dries matte. This one is in the shade 01. It's a very kind of neutral, classic red colour. It is super long-lasting. It does not budge. I applied it, and I was eating a burger. I had a full meal, and it did not budge one bit. I do apply lip liner underneath it to make it last a bit longer, but it's really nice. The only thing I don't like so much is that the doe for applicator is not that thin. So I do find it a little bit difficult to go into the cupid's bow area and make the perfect kind of shape there. But other than that, it is a great, super long lasting, and I love of red that this comes on as. Another product I've been loving this month is the Charlotte Tilbury Luxury instant look in a palette. I have loved this one. I find myself reaching out for it most days. I love that it's got absolutely everything in one palette. I really like the contour shade. I actually use it as a bronzer more than a contour because for me as a contour it's a little bit too light. I love the highlighter because it's not too intense but it's so it's quite subtle and it's more of a glow than glitter so perfect for the daytime. The blush shades are kind of very pinky and lovely to give you kind of a rosy glow for spring. And the eyeshadows are not too pigmented, but they're pigmented enough to kind of give you a very natural and beautiful eye look. I have spoken about this in more detail, so I'm not going to ramble about it. And it's in the video where I did a haul video and I give a first impressions of all the products I bought from Charlotte Tilbury. I've linked it down below, so please do go and check it out if you want a bit more of an in-depth review about this palette. For fashion this month, I have been loving this Max Mara shirt. It's an oversized cotton poplin shirt with um, really wide sleeves and they have got this gold button detail all down the side of the sleeve. I will insert now a little bit of footage showing um, how it looks on. It's quite oversized, it's very, very loose, um, but you can wear it with a belt or you can leave it loose. I will insert a few pictures here so that you can see how it looks but it's absolutely gorgeous it looks great with jeans you can also tuck it in into high-waisted trousers and it just gives a super glamorous look it's also super comfy because it is quite oversized and I love the gold buttons on the sleeves and I love that the sleeves are super oversized and it just looks very kind of chic and glamorous and kind of very fresh and airy perfect for spring and summer so I have really been loving that one and there you have it guys, that was all for this month's monthly favourites. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do let me know in the comments below what you've been loving this month and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time. Thank you, bye bye.